If you got some problems, we'll be there to solve them. We're a squad who can do the job. We're a squad who can do the job. If a monster is in trouble, we'll be there on the double. We're the squad who can do the job. We're the squad who can do the job. The monster mask squad. A bungle at Barks and Stench. Look, Max. I put all my books away in their proper place. Oh, that's great, Goo. It looks much neater here in the Monster Map Lab. But what about this book? Oh, I didn't see that one. <laughs> And now I see it. <gasps> <laughs> the scream screen always surprises Goo. The scream screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the Monster Mask Squad will be there! <gasps> it's Mr. Cranky Pants Monster! Hi, Mr. Cranky Pants Monster! Boy. I'm not very cranky today. Huh? But you're always cranky, Mr. Cranky Pants Monster. Why aren't you cranky? I just got to deliver my new monster toys, and the toys make me feel kind of warm and fuzzy inside. What do you call that feeling? Um, happy? Happy, yes! What a horrible feeling. Well, how can we help? Can you put the toys away for me so I don't feel any happier? Put toys away? <laughs> well, that sounds easy. <laughs> you might be surprised, Goo. The monster toys I sell in my store are extremely fussy and hard to put away properly. We're on our way! Make it snappy! Hmm. We need to put away some fussy toys. I'm sure we can use some Monster Map to do that. Yeah! Monster Map can do anything! Because Monster Map is everywhere! Hey, will you join the Monster Map squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will! Yes! First, we need the secret monster math word that will help us get the job done. Ah, ah, word monster. monster! Today's secret monster math word is place. Next time you see word monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen. Place! <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see word monster again. Oh, <laughs> right, Lily. I got so excited, I couldn't wait. Come on, squad. Let's go put away some fussy monster toys. Monster marbles? Oh, I love monster marbles. Well, you need to put them away. And you need to put this away. Hey, that toy looks a bit like you, Mr. Cranky Pants Monster. And I love being cranky. Oh, my toe. What kind of toy is that? It's a little Mr. Cranky Pants Monster. Uh, who would want one of those? Every monster will want one. After all, I'm irresistible. Whoa, I think I just smiled. I gotta get away from these toys before I feel any happier. Um, where do you want us to put your toys, Mr. Cranky Pants Monster? In the right place. Exactly how I put away the others. Okay, squad, let's start by putting away the monster marbles. Where do they go? Mr. Cranky Pants Monster said to put them away exactly how he put the others away. We probably won't even need to use monster math to do that. Hmm. The other marbles are in containers. So I guess they should go in this container. There! All the marbles are in their containers. And all the other containers are on that shelf, so I'll put this one on the shelf too. <laughs> that was easy. Oh, oh, hey! The 
monster marbles hopped off the shelf. Whoops, not so easy. Maybe they don't like it there? Why won't these monster marbles stay in their place? Ah! Ah! Did you see word monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word, place. Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three, place! A monster math monitor. A monster is putting her hat and shoes away. Each must go in their proper place. Does the monster's hat go on the bottom, on the mat? Uh-oh, the hat's not very happy about that. And where do the monster's shoes belong? On top of the hat rack? No, that seems wrong. The shoes go on the bottom and the hat on top. That's their proper place. Just a simple swap. <laughs> well, that was helpful. Now we know about place. Yeah, and we know that things can go in different places. Some things go on the top and some go on the bottom. And since place is a math word, let's, let's do, do monster math! math. Oh! Okay, squad, let's think. Did we put the marbles in the right place? We put the container on the shelf like all the other containers. Hmm, so what's the problem? Help us figure this out, squad. The monster math monitor showed us that different things go in different places. Some go on the top and some go on the bottom. So top and bottom must have something to do with the problem. Hmm, there are two shelves a top shelf and a bottom shelf. Maybe we put the container on the wrong shelf. It was on the top shelf, but maybe it needs to be on the bottom shelf. But that's not the place where the other containers are. Right, but it's worth a try. <laughs> Missed me! Got me! Hmm, the marbles don't seem happy on the bottom shelf either. Let's take a closer look at the marbles that Mr. Cranky Pants Monster put away. Is there something about the marbles inside these containers that has to do with top and bottom? Oh, oh, I see something. There are big marbles and small marbles. Right, Goo. And do you see how the big and small marbles are placed in the container? Are the big marbles on the top or bottom of the container? Yes! They're on the bottom. And where are the small marbles? On the top or bottom? Aha! The top! So what about these marbles? Are they in the right place? No, they're all over the place. Then we need to put them in their proper place. Big monster marbles on the bottom. Small monster marbles on the top. Ta-da! <laughs> They're not jumping around anymore! They're in their proper place! Yay! We did it, squad! Thanks! Now, let's put away this Mr. Cranky Pants monster toy. I like being cranky! There! That was easy! <laughs> Owie! <laughs> My toe! Oh, I don't think the toy likes where you put it, Max. But this looks like its proper place right beside the others. Oh, what are we doing wrong? Ah! Ah! Did you just see Word Monster? Then let's shout the secret monster math word, place, together again on three. Ready? One, two, three, place! Look, a monster math monitor. A cute pet monster on the lawn. That's not the place he belongs. Come inside. That's what you should do. In the house is the place for you. <gasps> a horrible, rotten monster sees the door open wide and decides to sneak inside. Inside the house? No, that won't do. Out of the house is the place for you. Toodaloo! Thanks, 
Monster Math Monitor. Now we know some more about place. Yeah, the right place can also be in something or out of something. Well then, I know exactly the right place for this cranky toy. And I love being cranky! And I love being... Out of the store! Oh, who could that be? Ah, Max! I wouldn't open that! Oh, Ow! And I love being cranky! Zor. It's a very bad morning! Oh, oh. Where does this toy go? Oh, there must be something different about how these toys are put away. Do you see anything different? Oh, oh, I see something, Max. An empty package. That's it, Goo. This toy is out of its package. And all the other toys are in their packages. <laughs> I know what to do. I'll put it here. It's still it's cranky. Very bad <laughs> now the toy is on top of the package, Goo. That's not the right place for it. Hmm. What do you think, Squat? Aha! The toy needs to go in the package. Look! It likes it there. That means we put it in its proper place. Yay! Okay, okay. Scram back to your own place. I'm feeling good and cranky again. <laughs> Monster Math, terrific job, Monster Math Squad. We helped Mr. Cranky Pants Monster put his toys away. And we did it by knowing all about lace. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. <laughs> we, we did, did the math. math. We, we did, did the, the math. Laughing <laughs> 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 makes me cranky! <laughs> Big Burt Monster at the library. This is the story of Goldie Monster and the Three Monsters. Three? <laughs> like me! Once upon a time, there was a little monster named... <laughs> <laughs> Weird name. <laughs> and the scream screen always surprises Goo. The scream screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the Monster Mask Squad will be there! <gasps> it's Miss Shush Monster. She's the librarian at Monstrovia Library. Hi, Miss Shush Monster! Shush! Oh, please keep your voices down. This is a library. Oops, sorry, Miss Shush Monster. Miss Shush Monster keeps a very quiet library. I certainly do, but it's not quiet today. <laughs> Whoa! What was that big sound? That was Big Burp Monster. Uh oh! Big Burp Monster is a major burping monster. Yes, he is. And I have never heard such loud burps. Oh, oh, shush, shush, please. He's looking for a book, but I have no idea which book. That's because he only speaks in burps. Hmm, how can we help? I need you to figure out which book Big Burp Monster is looking for so that he can leave my library and all this monstrous burping will stop. Don't worry, Miss Shush Monster. The Monster Math Squad is on the way. Quietly. Hmm. We need to figure out which book Big Burp Monster is looking for. I'm sure we can use some monster math to do that. Yeah, monster math can solve any problem. For sure, because monster math is everywhere. Hey, will you join the monster math squad on the job? Join the squad, join the squad. You will. Awesome. First, we need the secret monster math word that will help us get the job done. Ah, ah, Bird monster. monster. Today's secret monster math word is numbers. Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen. Numbers! <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. Oh, right. Come on, Monster Math Squad. Let's go help Big Burp Monster find his book. <laughs> Hi there, Miss Shush. Shush. Oh, sorry. 
Miss Shush Monster. Thank goodness you're here. I'm at my wit's end with that noisy big burp monster. <laughs> trying to find <coughs> it's no use big burp monster only speaks in burps but uh even if we know which book he wants how will we ever be able to find it there are so many books in the library <coughs> did you see word monster that means we all need to shout the secret monster math word numbers are you ready let's shout it together on three one two three Numbers! Look! It worked! A monster math monitor! Maybe it can help us. The mail carrier monster delivers a letter to number one monster lane. The mail carrier monster delivers a letter to number two monster lane. The mail carrier monster delivers a big package to number three monster lane. Well, that was helpful. Now we know that numbers can be put on houses. Yeah, each house has its own number. So that makes it easy to find someone's monster house. Uh, indeed. Numbers can help you find all sorts of things, including library books. In fact, all the books in this library are organized by using numbers. Monster math amazing! And since math is all about numbers, let's, let's do, do monster math! math. Oh. Shush! Quietly! Miss Shush Monster, can you tell us more about how numbers are used in the library to help find where a book is? Of course, Lily. There are three different floors in the library and different types of books on different numbered floors. Huh? This is floor number one. Floor number one has books about scaring. Floor number two has books about stinking. Floor number three has books about howling, snarling, and burping. If we can find out which type of book Big Burp Monster is looking for, we'll know what floor number to find it on. Now that Big Burp Monster knows what type of book goes on each floor, maybe he can burp out the number of the floor his type of book is on. <laughs> Great idea, Max. Big Burp Monster. Can you burp out the number of the floor your book is on? Math Squad, help us count the number of burps he burps. One, two, three! That means Big Burp Monster's book is on floor number three. The one with books about howling, snarling, and burping. We can go up those stairs to reach floor number three. Let's go, Squad! Well, here we are. Floor number three. Wow! <laughs> Look at all the books! But which book is the one Big Burp Monster is looking for? <gasps> Shush, please! Oh, do hurry. I think his burps are getting louder. <laughs> Miss Shush Monster, you said the books on this floor are all about howling, snarling, and burping. That's right, Lily. Shelf number one has books about howling. Shelf number two has books about snarling. And shelf number three has books about burping. Good to know. Big Burp Monster, can you burp the shelf number of your book, please? Help us count the numbers again, squad. One, two, three! That means Big Burp Monster's book is in shelf number three. Oh, the shelf with burping books. All right, I'll find that shelf. <laughs> Me too. Let's count them. Shelf number one. <laughs> Numbers are fun. Shelf number two. <laughs> they sure are, Goo. Ha! Missed me. <laughs> Got me. Uh-oh. I forgot what shelf number we were on. I guess we'll have to count them all over again. <laughs> Silly monsters. You don't need to count the shelves. The numbers are right on each shelf. See? Oh, cool! Numbers can help us find things and remember where they are. Come on, squad. Let's find shelf number three. One, two, three! Ah, here we are. Books about burping. Now you can find your book, Big Burp Monster. <laughs> Big burp. Shush, please. Uh-oh. What happened to the numbers? 
Pig Burp Monsters Big Burp blew them all around. With the numbers messed up, how will we know which shelf is which now? Ah! Ah! I think I heard something. Did you see Word Monster? You did? Oh, let's shout out the secret monster math word, numbers, together again. On three. One, two, three, numbers! Look! A monster math monitor! A big blue monster stomps his feet as he walks. That really shakes the ground. The shaking is causing a problem. The house numbers are spinning around. The monster's trying to find house number three. Where, oh, where can it be? Another big stomp and, oh, there it is! House number three. Oh, hi. Well, that was really interesting. Now we know that numbers are still the same numbers even if they get turned all around. Help us figure out which numbers these are so we can find the right shelf. Oh, which number is this? A uh, one, a two, or a three. Which do you think? Does it look like one, two, or three? Yes, one. Well done. <laughs> it was just sideways, but it's the same number. And we know that's not the number we're looking for. Right, Max. We're looking for number three, burping books. Oh, oh how about this one? Help us figure out which number this one is again. Is it number two or three? Yes, number two. Good for you. Hey, we're almost done. We found numbers one and two. I know what number is next. Do you? Yeah, it's three, like me. <laughs> this must be shelf number three. Let's see. Yes, shelf number three, burping books. Your book must be here, Big Burp Monster. <laughs> I think he found his book. What's it called? How to Burp Really, Really Loud. Yes, and no more burping. Excuse me. <laughs> we helped Big Burp Monster find his buck. And we did it by knowing all about numbers. Monster matherific job, squad. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. Oh! We, we did, did the, the math. math. We, we did, did the, the monster, monster math. math. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shush, please. The Scoop Troop! Hey, look! We got an invitation to Persnickety Eater Monster's birthday party! <laughs> really, Lily? All three of us? Yes, Goo! You and Max and me make three! Yeah, party! Yeah. party. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are we still going to a party? <laughs> the Scream Screen always surprises Goo! The Scream Screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need! And whenever a monster needs our care... The Monster Mascot will be there! It's Picky Eater Monster! Hi, Picky Eater Monster! Hi, Monster Math Squad. Thanks for inviting us to your brother's party. I'm sorry to say I'm going to have to uninvite you. Why? My brother, Persnickety Eater Monster, is very persnickety, you know. We know. Everything has to be just right for him, and that includes the loot bags for his birthday party. I don't have time to make them the way he wants them. We can help you get them made. The Monster Mask Squad is on the way! Please hurry! We need to help Picky Eater Monster make the loot bags for his brother's birthday party. I'm sure Monster Math can help us do that. Yeah! Monster Math can do anything! Because Monster Math is everywhere! Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will! Awesome! First, we need the secret Monster Math word that will help us get the job done. Ah! Ah! Word Monster! 
today's secret monster math word is... Capacity. Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen. Capacity. <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. Oh, <laughs> right, Lily. Come on, Monster Math Squad. Let's go help Picky Eater Monster make those loot bags. <laughs> Monster Math Squad. Now, each of these bins contains the most delicious monster treats ever. Booger berries, fester flakes, wonder warts, and scab squares. And some of each treat goes into each loot bag? Not just some, Lily. A very precise amount. Let me show you. We start with an empty loot bag. And we put in one small scoop of booger berries. One, two small scoops of fester flakes. One, two, three small scoops of wonder warts. And one, two, three, four small scoops of scab squares. That's a lot of scooping to make each bag. That's why I need your help. I don't have time to make them all by myself. But if we all work together, we'll get the loot bags done in no time. Monsters, grab your scoops. Okay, everyone, get scooping. One. 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 Two. One. 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 Two. Two. Three. One. 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 Two. Two. One. Two. One. Four. Just put one scoop of each treat in the loot bags? It would be so much easier. But it's not the way my brother wants them! Then how are we going to get the loot bags made in time for the party? Ah! Ah! Did you see Word Monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word, capacity. Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three. Capacity! Monitor. Here's a monster feeding his pet. It's going to take him a while, I bet. His shovel's kind of small. It doesn't hold a lot. It has a small capacity. That's what this shovel's got. This shovel is much bigger. It can hold a lot. It has a big capacity. That's what this shovel's got. Just one big scoop is all it takes to feed the pet. Hooray! Uh-oh, he's gonna burp and blow the monster away. Wow! So capacity means how much something holds. Right, Goo. If a container is small, it has a small capacity. And if a container is bigger, it has a bigger capacity. And since capacity is a math word... Let's, let's do, do monster math! math. Ow! Max, remember when you said it would be easier if we could each put in just one scoop? Yeah? Now that we know about capacity, I think we can do that. How? We just need to use different size scoops. Picky Eater Monster, do you have any more scoops? Abso picky paws lootly I do. Right here in my scoop cupboard. Ta-da! Here's a yellow scoop. It's bigger than the small green one. Let's see what its capacity is. One, two scoops of fester flakes. The yellow scoop's capacity is two green scoops. That's exactly the amount I need. Now I can scoop with just one scoop. Hey, this blue scoop might have the right capacity for wonder warts. Oh, I wonder which of these will hold four scoops of scab squares. They're both big, but one's bigger than the other. I'll take both to try. Will you count with me to see if three green scoops of wonder warts fit in this blue scoop? <laughs> Great! <laughs> one, two, three! 
three! Yay! Now I can scoop with just one scoop, too! I wonder if four scoops of scab squares fit in this purple scoop. One, two, three, four! <gasps> Perfect, Max! The purple scoop has the capacity of four green scoops. All right! <laughs> then I guess I don't need this other one. Whoops! Wonderful! Now each of us has a scoop with the right capacity for our treats. Let's load these loot bags, squad! Whoa! I, I dropped mine. Hang on! Okay. Ready? Everyone, get scooping! Stop, everybody! Look! My scoop of scab squares doesn't fit in the loot bags. The scab squares overflowed. Oh, no! What went wrong? Ah! Ah! Did you see Word Monster? Then let's shout the secret monster math word, capacity, together again on three. Ready? One, two, three... A small bucket of dragon drill with a small capacity. A medium bucket of dragon drill with a medium capacity. A large bucket of dragon drill with a large capacity. This monster needs more dragon drill to fill his little waiting pool. A small bucket of dragon drill with a small capacity. A large bucket of dragon drill with a large capacity. Oops, too much dragon drill for the pool. A small bucket of dragon drill with a small capacity. A medium bucket of dragon drill with a medium capacity. Hooray! The right capacity for the pool. <laughs> Thanks, Monster Math Monitor! Now we know that things like buckets have different capacities too. When the Monster Math Monitor used the bucket with a wrong capacity, the pool overflowed just like the loot bag overflowed when Max put in his big scoop of scab squares. Maybe Max's big scoop has the wrong capacity. But I checked, and I know that four little green scoops of scab squares fit in this scoop. Hey, I thought your scoop was purple, Max. It... <gasps> You're right, Goo. It was purple. Maybe it changed color. Let me see. <laughs> oh. Huh? Oh, the purple scoop! When you dropped your scoop before, you must have picked up the wrong one by mistake. Oh, yeah. Max, you were using the wrong scoop to fill the loot bags. Right. To your bins, everyone. Get scooping! Happy birthday to me! Happy birthday, Persnickety Eater Monster! <gasps> the loot bags for my party! <coughs> Why, these loot bags are positively perfect! Phew! We got the loot bags made just right! The guests are here! And just in time! And we did it by knowing all about capacity! That deserves a great big monster howl on three! One, two, three... Hello! We, we did, did the math! math. We, we did, did the, the monster, monster math! math. <laughs> <laughs> Number Muncher Monster. <laughs> Look, Lily, I made goo into the number one. I'm number one! I'm number one! Woohoo! Ah! Ah! I'm number two? <laughs> the scream screen always surprises Goo. The scream screen! Somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the, the Monster, monster Mask Squad, Squad will be there! It's Miss Merkley. She bakes monster muffins in her muffin shop. Monster muffins are slimy and grimy and my favorite snack. Monster muffins are my favorite slimy, grimy snack, too. Well, it so 
happens, I'm about to bake a fresh batch of my monster muffins. Yum! But there's a problem. What? Numbers are missing from my scale, and I can't weigh my muffin ingredients properly. We can help. Math is all about numbers. Yeah! Because Monster Math is everywhere! Thanks, Monster Math Squad. See you soon! Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will? Monster math -erific. First, we need the secret monster math word that will help us get the job done. Ah, ah, word, word monster! Today's secret monster math word is... Count! Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen! Count! <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. Oh, I knew that. <laughs> Come on, squad. Let's find Miss Merkley's missing numbers. <laughs> Monster Math Squad? <gasps> monster monster muffin! muffin! I only have one Monster Muffin left. I really need to bake some more. But I can't if my scale is missing numbers. There do seem to be some numbers missing. But I can't figure out which ones. I really need your help to count them. <laughs> Did you see Word Monster? That means we all need to shout the secret Monster Math word, count. Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three, count! Look, it worked! A monster math monitor. Monster one, doing math. Monster two, in a bath. Monster three, with purple toes. Monster four, with a polka dot nose. Monster five, making a face. Monster six, tying her shoelace. Monster seven, holding a cat. Monster 8, wearing a hat. Monster 9, in a dress. Monster 10, making a mess. 10 monsters. Cool. Now that we know how the numbers go from 1 to 10, we can find out which of those numbers are missing from Miss Merkley's scale. Let's do monster math! math. What's the first number? One! The number one is still on the scale. It's not missing. What number's next? One, two, right. Is that number on the scale? I see it! <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> What's after two? One, two, huh, what comes next? Yes, three! Number three is missing! We need the number three. I'll make the missing numbers out of icing. Just until we find the real ones. <laughs> Good thinking, Miss Merkley. The next number is also missing from the scale. Help us count the numbers we have so far. One, two, three. What's next? Four, yay! There's a number five and six. And seven on the scale. But the next number is missing. Which number is next? Eight! We're doing great! The scale has number nine and ten! Do we have all the numbers from one to ten now? Let's count them together. One, one two, two, three, three four, four, five, five six, six, seven, seven eight, eight Nine, ten. ten! Yes! We found all the missing numbers on Miss Merkley's scale. Way to go, squad! We, we did, did the math! math. We, we did, did the, the monster, monster math! math. Well, we didn't exactly find the numbers. We only found out what numbers are missing. We still need to get the real numbers back on so the scale will work properly. In the meantime, you can have my last muffin. Yay! No time for snacks, squad. Aww. We need to find those missing numbers. Did you see anything unusual in your shop, Miss Merkley? Well, there was a suspicious looking monster lurking around here earlier. He was kind of big and blue and, uh, oh yes, he had a large mouth with three huge teeth. 
big blue, three huge teeth. Let's see if this monster math monitor can help us out. Just as I suspected, it's Number Muncher Monster. Ah! Oh, who's that? Is he scary? No, but Number Muncher Monster does love to eat numbers. Come on, squad. We need to find Number Muncher Monster and get Miss Merkley's numbers back before he eats them. I don't see Number Muncher Monster anywhere. Hey, it's Smooth Moves Monster. He knows all the moves. Maybe he knows where we need to move to find Number Muncher Monster. Where do monsters need to move? Listen to Smooth, get in the groove. Boogie Oogie Oogie, it's Monstrovia Town Square. The numbers you're looking for, well, I'll be there. Listen for 10 sounds all in a row. Then spin around, look up, and you'll find them, yo. How will we know when we hear 10 sounds all in a row? Well, I suppose when you hear the sounds, you could count them. Ah! Ah! Did you see Word Monster? Monster math terrific! Let's shout the secret monster math word, count, together again. On three. Ready? One, two, three, count! A monster math monitor! Monster one doing math. Monster two in a bath. Monster three with purple toes. Monster four with a polka dot nose. Monster five making a face. Monster six tying her shoelace. Monster seven holding a cat. Monster eight wearing a hat. Monster nine in a dress. Monster 10 making a mess. 10 monsters. Thanks, Monster Math Monitor. Reminding us how the numbers go from one to 10 will really help us count 10 sounds in a row, like Smooth Move said to. Let's boogie oogie oogie to Monstrovia Town Square. Hmm, Smooth Move's monster said we needed to listen for 10 sounds all in a row. Hmm, what makes sounds? Do you see that? It's a squawk monster. Squawk monsters love to make loud squawks. We need to get ready to count out the number of squawks it makes. Get ready to count with us. That's one squawk. Let's keep counting out the number of monster squawks we hear. Two. Two three. Four. Blown away after five squawks. Is that enough sounds? What do you think? You're right, it's not. We're listening for 10 sounds all in a row. Is there anything else that might make a sound? The clock makes sounds when it chimes the hour. And it looks like it's almost 10 o'clock. Time to chime. Okay, Monster Math Squad, get ready to count out the number of clock chimes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! Way to go, squad! Smooth Moves Monster said that when we hear ten sounds in a row, we have to spin around and look up. Let's all spin around and look up. <laughs> Look, it's Number Muncher Monster. And in his bucket, he's got Miss Merkley's numbers. I bet he's going to grab more numbers from the clock to munch. But then we'll never know what time it is in Monstrovia. Hey, Number Muncher Monster, can you please not eat the numbers? Number Muncher Monster loves munchy crunchy numbers. I know exactly how you feel. I love slimy, grimy monster muffins. What are slimy, grimy monster muffins? This is a slimy, grimy monster muffin. Hmm. That does look slimy and grimy. Would you like to try it? Number Muncher Monster will try an incy weensy bite. <laughs> Yummy! Number Muncher Monster loves slimy, grimy monster muffins. No! Oh! Well, no monster muffin. Wait! There's a crumb left! Oh, yay! Oh. <laughs> Silly monsters. Oh. 
We found all the missing numbers from Miss Merkley's scale by knowing how to count from 1 to 10. Now she can bake lots of monster muffins. That deserves a big monster howl on three. One, two, three, howl! We, we did, did the math. math! We did the monster math! <laughs> the big stink! <laughs> Six, seven, no, go! Please stop wiggling and giggling. I'm trying to count your toes. <laughs> it tickles! <laughs> Oh, now I lost count. <laughs> hey, look, Max. Now I have zero toes. <laughs> <laughs> the scream screen always surprises Goo. The scream screen. Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the, the Monster, monster Max Squad will be there. <laughs> it's Stinky Feet Monster. He has the stinkiest feet you ever smelled. <laughs> yes, I do. I have the stinkiest feet in all of Monstrovia. We know. How can we help you? Once a year, I wash my feet in a special foot bath. What makes it so special? The ingredients make it special, but the problem is I can't find them. My official Stinky Feet Monster Malodorous Manual says where each of the ingredients can be found, but I just can't figure it out. So you want the Monster Math Squad to help you? Yes, I really need your help to find the ingredients. Don't worry, Stinky Feet Monster. The Monster Math Squad is on the way. Stinkerific! Hmm. We need to help Stinky Feet Monster find his foot bath ingredients. <gasps> I'm sure we can use Monster Math to do that. Yeah, Monster Math can solve any problem. For sure, because Monster Math is everywhere. Hey, will you join the Monster Math Squad on the job? Join the squad! <laughs> join the squad! You will? Yes! First, we need the secret Monster Math word that will help us get the job done. Ah! Ah! Today, there are two secret monster math words. Top and bottom. Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math words with us to make something math amazing happen. Top, uh, bottom. <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. Oh, right. I always forget. <laughs> Come on, Monster Math Squad. Let's go help find some foot bath ingredients. It's Stinky Feet Monster. Whoa, his feet really stink. Ugh. Yes, they do. I have the stinkiest feet in all of Monstrovia. Uh, <coughs> we know. Let's have a look at the malodorous manual so we can start finding your foot bath ingredients. First, we need to find a putrid pansy. They grow at the top of Monstrovia Mountain. At the top? Where's that? Ah! Ah! Did you see Word Monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math words top and bottom. Are you ready? Let's shout them together on three. One, two, three. Top, top bottom! Oh, it worked! A monster math monitor. There's a monster on top of the slide. He's getting ready to go for a ride. The monster on top is ready to drop to the bottom of the slippery slide. There's a monster at the bottom of the slide. He looks a little googly-eyed. The monster at the bottom is feeling kind of rotten. Maybe he should give the swings a try. Bye-bye. <laughs> well, that was helpful. Now we know all about top and bottom. Yeah! The top is the highest part, and the bottom is the lowest part. I bet we need to know about top and bottom to help find the stuff in the malodorous manual. And since top and bottom are math words... Let's do math! math! Okay, the 
first ingredient is a putrid pansy that only grows on the top of Monstrovia Mountain. To the top, squad! Oh, I have to catch my breath. We're really high up. But I don't see any putrid pansies. That's strange. You said the top of Monstrovia Mountain, right? Right. And that's where we are, aren't we? Uh, but isn't the top the highest part of something? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And isn't that part higher than this part? Goo's right. We are almost at the top, but not quite. To the very top, squad! Hey! I found a putrid pansy! <laughs> Yay! Goo! According to the manual, we only need one of them for the foot bath. I'll pluck it out. <laughs> oh, wow! Oh, that super stinks! But not as much as my feet, right? I have the stinkiest feet in all of Monstrovia. <laughs> we know. Hey, you! Why would anyone want to put this in a foot bath? Uh, what do we need next? Hmm. According to the manual, we need to collect a handful of berries from the bottom of a bioberry bush. Bioberries! I've seen them growing around the park. To the park, squad! The ingredients for this foot bath are weird. See? Bioberries! Just like I said. Let's get some! <laughs> Scary bush! <laughs> I'll take this berry way up here, little guy. It looks perfect. Whoa! Big stink! Oh, super big stink! But not as stinky as my feet, right? I have the stinkiest feet in all of Monstrovia. We know! Uh. This can't be right. It's so stinky. I'd better have another look at the manual. This arrow points to the bottom of the bile bush. Goo, where exactly did you pick the berry from? Uh, where was it? Was it the top or bottom? Uh, do you remember? Oh, right! I picked the berry from the top of the bush. Uh -huh. But the manual says we need berries from the bottom. Of course, that's the problem. The berries on the top must be too stinky. Try picking one from the bottom. Okay, Lily. Whoa! Oh, triple stink! Oh, too smelly! Oh, oh! Oh, stupefying stench! Uh, what a horrific stink! But not as stinky as my feet, right? No! no! Nothing is as stinky as your feet, stinky feet monster! Stinkerific! Hmm, one more ingredient to get for the foot bath. Gooey, gobby gunk. I think I saw some of those at Barks and Stench General Store. Let's go. I don't know how this stinky stuff is supposed to clean stinky feet and make them smell sweet. Huh. Gooey, gobby gunk jars are over there. Top shelf. Hurry, my store is getting extremely stinky. <sighs> it smells totally stinkerific. Phew! <laughs> Gooey, gobby, gunk. I don't see any. Hmm, me either. Mr. Cranky Pants told us the gooey, gobby, gunk jars are on the top shelf. Oh, the top. Where's that again? Oh, yeah, it's the highest part. Yes, the top! <laughs> and there are the jars of gooey gubby gunk! Got it! Great! Now we have to mix all the ingredients together. <laughs> Whoa! This is seriously stinky! But not as stinky... We know! Not, not as stinky as your feet! Okay, here goes... I just don't understand why anyone would want to make a foot bath out of that. Yeah, it stinks like a million zillion rotten dragon eggs. Ugh. <sighs> yeah. Perfecto. Ooh, why are you sticking your feet in that stuff, stinky feet monster? Yeah, the foot bath is all wrong. It's super stenchy, stinky. Maybe we found the wrong ingredients. Oh, no! 
The official Stinky Feet Monster Foot Bath is supposed to be stinky! <laughs> it's supposed to make my feet even stinkier! <laughs> oh, make it stop! <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it did! Well, now my whole store stinks! I'm very cranky about this! Yuck! Oh, I need it! <laughs> well, at least we got all the ingredients for the official Stinky Feet Monster Foot Bath. And we did it by knowing all about top and bottom. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. Howl! We, we did, did the, the math! math. We, we did, did the, the monster, monster math! math. Oh. A muffin mystery. <laughs> I'm so excited. We're going to the Monstrovia Town Picnic. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, Goo. You look like a two. <laughs> <laughs> now I don't look like a two. I just look like Goo. <laughs> and the scream screen always surprises Goo. The scream screen! Oh, somewhere in Monstrovia, there's a monster in need. And whenever a monster needs our care, the, the monster, monster mascot will be there! It's Miss Merkley at her monster muffin shop. We ordered monster muffins for our picnic. Hello, Miss Merkley. Are you calling to say our muffin order is ready? No, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> I'm closing my shop and not baking any more monster muffins ever again. <laughs> no more, more monster, monster muffins. muffins? What? Why? Baking monster muffins is what you do best, Miss Merkley. Not anymore. Not after what happened this morning. <laughs> Poor Miss Merkley. What could have happened to make her close her muffin shop? It's a mystery. A mystery we need to solve. Can Monster Math help us do that? Sure, Goo. Monster Math can solve any problem. Because Monster Math is everywhere. Hey, will you join the Monster Math squad on the job? Join the squad! Join the squad! You will? Awesome. First, we need the secret Monster Math word that will help us get the job done. Ah! Ah! Word, word Monster! monster! Today's secret monster math word is half. Next time you see Word Monster and hear him squawk, shout out the secret monster math word with us to make something math amazing happen. Half. <laughs> Not yet, Goo. Wait until you see Word Monster again. Oh, right. I always forget. Come on, Monster Math Squad, to Miss Merkley's muffin shop. <laughs> Squad, I'm so glad you're here. This muffin is the reason I'm closing my shop. That yummy looking muffin caused all this trouble? What happened? Well, a new customer ordered it this morning, so I made it. The customer came and got it, and then brought it back saying it was wrong. Oh, wrong. That muffin looks perfect. It's my best muffin recipe. Heavenly half, half slime, half crime. Why would anyone send back a heavenly half muffin? Ah! Ah! Did you see Word Monster? That means we all need to shout the secret monster math word, half. Are you ready? Let's shout it together on three. One, two, three. Half. Look, it worked, a monster math monitor. This little monster likes to color half a picture in. The other half, he never does. That's how he's always been. If he colored everything, it wouldn't be just half. It would be the whole of it, and then he wouldn't laugh. So this little monster only colors half a picture in. The other half, he never does. That's how he's always been. <laughs> what a funny little monster to only want to color half a picture. I bet that means half has something to do with the mystery of why the muffin for the picnic was returned. The picnic! 
If Miss Merkley doesn't start baking our muffins for the picnic, they won't be ready in time. I can tell you the slimy grimy recipe, but you'll have to make them yourself. I'm no good at making muffins anymore, remember? Don't worry, Miss Merkley. We can do it. We've got helpers, right? First, we need half a beaker of dust. We know all about half. That's math. Come on, squad. Let's, Let's do, do math. math. Oh. I'll get half a beaker of dust. Good. That's half a beaker exactly. Dump it in the bowl, please. <laughs> Oops. Looks like we'll need another half beaker of dust. Hmm. Does that look like half a beaker? No? I don't think so either. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. There. Half a beaker of dust. Next, half a beaker of swamp muck. Gross! Monsters love gross! And last, you need half a beaker of dragon slobber. Yum! I'll do it! <laughs> okay, that's half. That's it! Now mix it up, please. Okay, into Oven Monster it goes. My best muffin recipe. Heavenly half, exactly like the muffin the customer returned. Who was this mysterious new customer? Her name is Mrs. Half Monster. I think we should go ask her why she didn't like your muffin. Can we take it with us? Oh, yes, I'd really like to know, Lily. Her address is Half House, which is halfway to the park. Let's go, squad! Interesting. A customer named Mrs. Half Monster, who lives in Half House, which is half of a house that's halfway to the park, ordered a muffin called Heavenly Half. That's a lot of halves. Hello, I'm Mrs. Half Monster, and I'm getting ready for the picnic. Hi, we're the Monster Math Squad, and we're going to the picnic too. But first, we wanted to ask you... If you can help me? Yes, you can. I'm in a terrible rush. I ordered a special muffin for the picnic, but it was wrong. Oh, wrong. So I have to run out and buy something else. Um, about that muffin? Please take these baskets to the park and put half of them by the bench and half of them by the swing. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, how do we figure out how many are half of the baskets? <laughs> Did you see Word Monster? Then let's shout the secret monster math word half together again on three. Ready? One, two, three, half! A monster math monitor! This little monster wants his pictures hanging on his wall. He's going to put picture frames on half of them, not all. To figure out which half, he's got a little game. He lays them all out on the floor and makes two rows the same. When each row has the same in it, two halves is what he's got. The top half gets some picture frames, the bottom half does not. That's a math-tastic trick to find out how much half of something is. Make two rows that are the same. Let's do that with the baskets. Come on! Let's, Let's do, do monster math! math. Oh! So, we need to put half of the picnic baskets here by the bench and half of them by the swing, right? Right! Uh, but how? The math monitor showed us that to find half, we should start by making two rows with the same number of baskets in each row. I'll start the top row here. I'll start the bottom row here. <laughs> Toss me a basket, please, Max. One! <laughs> Let's check if both rows are the same so far. I've got two baskets in my row. And I've got two baskets in my row. Great! Yeah, here, the last two baskets. One for you, Lily, and one for you, Goo. Let's check to see if our rows are still the same. My row has one, two, three picnic baskets. And my row has one, 
two, three also. They're the same. <laughs> so each row has half of the baskets in it. Monster math amazing. Now, Mrs. Half Monster wants half of them here by the bench and half of them over there by the swings, right? Right. Half here. And half here. Oh, good job with the picnic baskets. Oh, but I'm afraid I couldn't find anything to replace that muffin I bought that was wrong. Um, Mrs. Half Monster, what exactly is wrong with this muffin anyway? I ordered a muffin from Miss Merkley called Heavenly Half, thinking I would get half a muffin. And that is a whole muffin. I like things in halves, as you may have noticed. Hmm. I think I know a way to solve this. To Miss Merkley's, everyone! <laughs> Miss Merkley, could you please cut this muffin down the middle? All right! There! I don't believe it. It's perfect! One half and another half. Two halves. You've made the best muffin ever, Miss Merkley. I have? That means I'm still good at making muffins. I'll keep my shop open. Yay! But there's still a problem. There, there is. is. I can't decide which half to take. Well, why not take both, Mrs. Half Monster? Oh, that's not a half bad idea, Miss Merkley. See you all at the picnic. Good work, Monster Math Squad. We solved the mystery about why the muffin was returned. And we did it by knowing what half is. That deserves a great big monster howl on three. One, two, three. Oh! We, we did, did the math. math. We, we did, did the, the monster, monster math. math. <laughs> <laughs>